Six years ago, I had six young men that took the environmental science class, and it was the first year it was offered, and there wasn't a curriculum by the state. We wrote our own curriculum, and if you ask enough higher order critical thinking questions, you end up with this 24-hour recycling center. We were implementing a you know, new science class, and the first year was really a great year for those kids. They designed this building. Uh, they learned a lot about uh, local government because they had to go before the city council and our zoning committee. Each year the program has built on something else. One year it was the community garden. One year it was getting these bins built. We started welding in our sophomore year. It's definitely rewarding when people ask us, what do we do? We weld, but there's kids that work on the business end of this, so we take huge pride in what we do. The community garden has been growing for the past four years. Here you see seniors working. We have elementary kids come over. We're implementing an irrigation system that the kids are building the metal rods. It'll serve as a temporary greenhouse. I've had three kids go through the environmental science program here at Booker. They've written grants. They've written presentations, gone and talked to businesses, school boards, city council. We come every Friday and I just go in and I tell them, okay, so we're here to pick it up this week, and then they just unlock everything and we load it up and then move on to the next place. We don't have 20 Miss Free Loves to follow everybody around. You have to do your own job, you have to work hard, you have to get everything sorted correctly and all that, so it, it does help everybody learn responsibility. They're taking lifelong skills that they wouldn't get from very many other programs in a high school. We recycle about 90 tons of cardboard a year, not to mention the plastic and paper and the things we're keeping out of our local landfill. Besides the educational benefit, that's a real benefit to our community. I think sometimes I, as a teacher, along with probably all teachers, we underestimate the power of kids and what they can do. The first day of class, I tell them, you are no longer a kid, you're an adult, you're a business owner, and for six years, I've never had a kid not live up to that expectation.